Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more oxygen not included, no time for BS. But today, oxygen is included. Well, at least water's included. I wanted to show you guys something. Okay, so I had to do this off camera because it was a giant pain in the ass. I wanted to kind of learn a little bit about it by myself, so I had to make some trials and errors. Look at this glorious creature we have created right here. Yes, folks, we have made steam. And there's a few things I'm going to let you guys know about if you're going to make your own little steam container. First off, totally works. Right over here, we've got steam. I'm going to let it play for a little bit. And you'll notice that the steam kind of, I don't know, loiters in the area. And then it rolls right down the side of the wall here. Every once in a while, you'll see like a little droplet kind of like right there, roll down the wall. It is making water, which is freaking awesome. That means... That from now on, we can simply pump our contaminated water into this room, and it is no big deal. And this, this little area here, besides powering the entire base, is going to be able to make steam. Now, a few things I had found out about this. First things first, the water level really makes the difference. Um, so if we click on this water, right here it says 65.2 degrees Celsius. I think over here is, yeah. Over here is where all of my, my hot enough water is. Um, so the thing about what's going on here is if, you're, if your water level is too high, it, I don't know, disperses too much heat. Um, you know what I mean? The, the water disperses a lot of heat, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. But this is kind of the level that I find you have to be at. This kind of like really short, maybe up to the very first groove in the battery level of, of contaminated water. That's pretty appropriate, and what will happen is, you'll be watching it, and all of a sudden you'll hear, you'll hear puffs. You'll hear like, Poof. and steam will flow in the air. It's freaking awesome. And then my little, well, here, let me show you all the different gas pumps and everything. So we've got the contaminated water overlay coming through here. Again, this is Gray's jacked up piping system. It used to go this way uh, through here, but we changed it, and now it's going this way. I, I... <laughs> The other reason I didn't build this on camera is because you guys would have been, like, taking the closest instrument and jamming it into your eyes. Well, those of you that have a substantial amount of OCD would be doing it. Probably those that really don't would probably be doing it as well. So we've got this water conduit over here. This pumps in the contaminated water right over here. And I've kind of contained everything over to this corner because it seems like this corner is always much hotter than everywhere else. Um, and then over here we have a gas pump. And the gas pump... If I go over here to my gas plumbing. Now see right here, it says steam. You can see what's in here at any given time. For a while it was oxygen, then it was carbon dioxide, and now it's all steam. And it pumps our steam, pumps our steam, and then it comes out right over here in this little gas vent that I made. Now, the thing that I've been wanting to check, and I left it like this on purpose, is will making all of this steam over here create a giant heat area in the base it doesn't look like it oddly enough um if we go over here at the base 26.9 degrees celsius no big deal for the most part you'll notice it goes up every once in a while but then it just drops down to 26.9 people are still showering in filth everything's doing pretty good they shower back and forth it's pretty wacky how they do it because what happens is i think that the pipes go crazy for yes yeah, see right there how it says empty pipe the pipes go crazy for a little bit as it constantly cycles out the crap water. But um, every once in a while, let's see here, is anyone not grimy? Uh, Mr. Hart, for instance, isn't grimy. So it's not like perfect or anything like that, but it does work. Really, the grime is the least of my worries right now. There's so little to do. I mean, we have plenty of food. We've got plenty of water now. The biggest thing was that we completely got rid of our, of our need for a filtration medium. There is now no longer any reason to run our purifier, our, uh, our water purifier. Because now we can make all the purified water we want. And that's exactly what we're doing. So you can see right over here, doing pretty good. Working out nicely. Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, we probably don't need any more of this right now. Our, our oxygen level, yeah, it's 800 and something grams right now. It's pretty damn high. We can turn this off. So... That portion is set. Way up here, our boys have dug, you know, it's just about as far as they could. You're going to notice, kind of cool over here, liquid chlorine, folks. Negative 64 
0.98 degrees Celsius. Um, I think that's pretty much as cold as it gets. I don't even, I mean, well, I mean, you know, the neutronium is colder, obvious, but I mean, like, up here, by, uh, by this, this kind of area, let's just check over here. I got some raw ores, negative 11, negative 12. Yeah, okay, so for the most part, this right here, this little air right here with the chlorine is as cold as it can possibly get. A couple of you guys have wanted me to dig all the way over to the right and the left. I mean, we can do that. I doubt we will foresee anything too abnormal. We got a whole lot of abyssalate over here. Whole lot of algae too, man. We just have, like, the algae is real at this point. Oh, one thing I want to do... I didn't have enough iron ore over here, so in fact, I'm gonna just gonna get this going real quick. Go ahead and cancel this out. And I'd like to make the rest of this mesh tile real fast. We should have a lot of copper. There we go. We can make this portion over here t uh, mesh tile, no big deal. While we're at it, we can finish making mesh tile everywhere else as well. Right now, just kinda, I don't know, redecorating the base a little bit. I mean,. Like I said, we've got, for the most part, we have everything taken care of. Um, there is a slight worry that one day we'll, we'll have to take care of maybe, like, dying from the temperature or something. But for the most part, now I'm just messing around, putting ore everywhere. Like I said, man, this thing's working fantastic when it comes to the, to the rain it's generating. Uh, down here, do we still have enough contaminated water? Yep, still got plenty of contaminated water to do its thing. The two manual generators is just about enough for what we want. So that's working pretty good. Going over here to the gas plumbing overlay, you can see the hydrogen generator generating energy every once in a while. Something I might do is like put down another gas pump, like maybe over here or something. Our biggest issue right now is hydrogen. We are creating quite a little bit of it. Again, if I go over here to the oxygen overlay, you're going to notice that there is a lot of hydrogen that has kind of settled into this part of the base. Now, up here, it really doesn't matter because we don't use this part that much. Carbon dioxide still absolutely no problem. I'm very impressed about that. Um, so we're not having any problem with the carbon dioxide. That is continuing to just kind of like when they open this every once in a while, they use the bathroom. It just shuffles in here and it just stays in here. And that's working out fantastic. So really one of the things that we have to do is kind of make sure that we continue to cycle all of this carbon dioxide up here. Some of the things that we could do is we could, like we could wall off this little portion here because you can see a little bit of hydrogen get stuck up there. Kind of the big thing is like the diffusion of the hydrogen. It's kind of everywhere. And then it, it gets to the point where there's just not that much in this region. The other thing that we could do is we could just make another gas pump uh, and put one, like, put another gas pump over here or something like that and connect it to this hydrogen generator. That may not be a bad idea. Uh, yeah, we'll just mess around a little bit. We'll just make, like, a real quick gas pump over here and just see what it does. It's just, at least it's not, it's not obviously the best location for it. I just want to see if we can keep these poor guys from choking all the time. Uh, we should have, let me check on my priorities over here. Yeah, there's good enough priorities to get that done. Once everyone kind of gets everything else done, we're doing a lot of the uh, mesh tiling over here. So they're getting all that created. Steam still building up over here. That's perfect, which means that we're still getting a nice amount of water that's dripping on down right here. That's looking great. How's things going down here? Uh, it's doing okay. We could probably drop in a little bit more contaminated water soon. If we go back over to the gas plumbing here just to check make sure. Yeah, okay, good. We're still getting... We're still getting plenty of steam going in. About 100 grams of steam going up in here. So that's kind of nice. And I wonder, if we go over to the liquid area? No, I didn't think so. I was just curious if, like, you could see the liquid dripping down or anything like that. But it doesn't look like it. Over here, looks like everyone is going to get done making this gas pump. And not a, not a moment too soon, either. Got plenty of hydrogen over here, after all. Plus, with these mesh tiles, it'll be able to draw from the bottom area as well. Let's go ahead and get this thing here. Almost got the gas output done, and I think that should have it. Oh, the pow um, no gas output. Okay, hold on a second. There we go. Now it should be moving some gas in. Let's check this out here. I'm gonna, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see if it's drawing enough, enough of the hydrogen to kind of like pick it off the ground here. Like I said, there's still a lot of hydrogen just kind of lingering around. Yeah, we're definitely getting more wattage. Let's move over to the gas overlay. Yes. Okay, good. 
I kind of wonder though, every, you see how every once in a while like a piece of the hydrogen disappears? I wonder if that, I wonder if that's creating some kind of like weird instance where like it shoves itself down into the gas. But I don't think so. But again, like this game kind of works weird every once in a while. You never really know. All right, there we go. We can go ahead and turn that right back on right there. We'll put a little bit, not a ton, but we'll put a little bit of uh, contaminated water back in this chamber. Also, I, we don't have, we don't even need this anymore. We can go ahead and disable this building. This water purifier no longer has any use to us. Got some food coming up here for uh, for our consumption. The, uh, the hydrogen is still pretty strong right now. We're going to have to look at getting rid of this. The secondary gas pump should start to move a lot of this out. So I am looking forward to that. We also got a watch here. Now, you don't want too much contaminated water to flow on the ground here. We want just enough. And when we open this... It did allow a little bit of contaminated oxygen. Now, some people have utilized an interesting method to keep their base full of uh, breathable air. And that they made a mesh at the bottom of the base. And they keep just like a little reservoir of contaminated water at the bottom all the time. Because this way it uh, creates contaminated oxygen. That's disgusting, but it definitely worked. Uh, okay, let's see here. That should be right about maybe a little bit more. I'm just kind of watching here. Uh, let's see. That should probably be plenty for right now. Should get us enough. We'll go ahead and disable this. I, I need to, like, kind of, like, learn a little bit how much contaminated water is enough. Let's go ahead and stop this. That'll pump in a little bit more contaminated water. Because remember, we want to make sure that we don't have too much. Because you see right here, see the temperature? Right now is, like, 34 point whatever. Look at this giant bulb of contaminated water. What kind of craziness is that? But, um, we go over here to liquid plumbing overlay. Okay, good. The last couple of pieces of contaminated water are moving inside. It's good. There we go. See there, that little, little bubble kind of popped in that second there. Look at how cold it is now. It's 34.4 degrees. So, it's going to take a while to get back to where we need it to, remember. Um, but that's fine. You know, it, it, it this, this kind of stuff takes a little time. And like I said, I still need to learn exactly how much contaminated water I can put in here before it cools things down too much. You can see right here, it's gonna take a while to get this liquid back up to the appropriate temperature. 35.2, 35.3, so that's gonna be a little bit, so we're just gonna let this run. There's still some steam in the air, but what's happening is the steam is uh, condensating inside of here, and it's falling down. Look at, look at how, if you look at here, it's only 97.2 degrees Celsius. I'm surprised, condensation point, 98 point, okay. So that's why it's getting to its condensation point and it's falling down. So the biggest issue is, will there be too much water in here? I don't think so. Because um, I think a lot of this is just, it looks bad, but it's not really that thick. Like, there's not actually this much water in here, I don't think. It's just kind of like, it's like flowing all weird and jacked up all over the place. I don't know. We'll keep it on and we'll see what happens over here. Where's, where's this water at? Contaminated water, 35.9. As long as it keeps going up. We'll be fine. 36.0. We'll kind of follow this as time goes on. 36.1. Okay, good. So it's continuing to go up. Let's take a real quick look while we're at it at our hydrogen overlay. Okay, good. This is working out perfectly. So this extra gas pump has really taken a lot of this extra hydrogen out of here. Um, and hopefully pretty soon it will begin to kind of move this stuff out of here as well. Because right now you see there's some hydrogen over by our uh, massage tables which sucks but no one's really generating any stress because they're not really doing very much um they're always just kind of in an area where there's a lot of decor so it's not something that we're having to worry about i'm gonna go ahead and turn this on real quick so we can get our plants growing again while we're doing this i guess we can start making a pathway over to the left in fact let's just go ahead and do that we'll make this path here um, we'll start with a manual airlock door. We should have... Yeah, we should have plenty of resources still. So we'll go ahead and make one right there. We'll get them building that. And then we'll start building straight through here. We'll build platforms straight through here, straight through here, and, and up, up, and away, so to speak. Down here, how's our water looking? I do want to keep an eye on this. Uh, 37.3, so we're starting to get there. 37.2 over here. Yeah, it's going to be a little while, man. 
It is going to be a little while, but we should have so much contaminated water in here that once we get this back to making steam again, it's not a big deal. Okay, our little uh, airlock is done. So now, now, we can start digging straight through here. And then once we've dug through there, we will go ahead and... Oh, I want to make mesh tiles out of this for when we rain down crap. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll make them out of... Yeah, we'll make them out of copper. I could care less. We'll go like this right here. Uh, we don't need them over here. They're going to be walking on uh, on goo for now. No big deal. You guys know how it is. A little bit of contaminated air over there. Okay, not too bad. Let's go check our oxygen overlay. Oxygen overlay. Ah, much better. Much better. We pushed a lot of the hydrogen up. Oh, that's fantastic. How's our breathable oxygen over there? Breathable oxygen is looking great. So, those two gas pumps appear to be the appropriate amount for dealing with the hydrogen levels inside of the base. To be fair, this one, I mean, we may not even really need that one. It's still moving hydrogen. Like, if you go over to the gas overlay, it is still moving hydrogen. This one's moving, like, regular oxygen every once in a while. But, uh, anyway, it's nighttime for now, and, oh, everyone's gonna be waking up in just a second here. Excellent. I don't think that we are making... Yeah, see, right... Oh, did that say steam? Is there any steam coming through here? Why would there be steam already? We should not have at all. And then, wow. Um. Steam. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know why we're making steam so fast. I didn't. I wouldn't think that the water is hot enough yet. But uh, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Still works, boys. The steam. The steam room is still steaming up big time. People are still showering in disgusting filth and shame which is absolutely glorious i love this setup so much someone was like i've never seen someone so happy about cheating in a game how could you say that to me after all of the tips after all of the horrible things everyone has wanted me to do to this game everyone's like great you need to you need to do this and that and trivialize all these different things i'm trying man I'm trying. Let's go ahead and start digging this on a P9 level of crap. There's some regular oxygen in here, too. Hmm. You know, if we could find some... What the hell? Oh, our little buddy. We got a morb over here generating some contaminated oxygen. Well, good for you, buddy. Also got a couple of plants over here getting ready to get picked. The one thing I haven't done yet, I haven't been sick enough to do this yet, is we haven't done the, uh, the dead body... The dead body generation method. <laughs> the uh, dead body to generate uh, morbs method. I guess if you if you kill one of your, your guys and, you know, you could, like, put them in a little room or something like that, morbs will start to spawn. And uh, I don't know if there's ever an amount of morbs that stop spawning or if the morbs go forever. Keep digging, damn it! Oh, that's a lot of hydrogen over there. Hmm. While we're at it, let me go ahead and make some more... Uh, do we really need mesh tiles any longer? I don't think we do oh, this far over. I'll just make regular tiles for this. Uh, oh, I don't need that one there. Like, I'm just... I'm gonna make... I don't... We're not gonna make a huge pathway right now of tiles. I just wanna get this going, so to speak. Okay, get that crap going. P9 it all day long. I'm pretty sure it's P9. Oh, it doesn't even matter anymore. Look at this, guys. I don't even have the P9 stuff anymore. These guys have nothing to do. Our stress level is fantastic these guys have no stress man no stress at all got a little bit over here probably because these guys are choking getting choked out but that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and enable this building maybe put a little bit more oxygen up in here how is how's the uh how's the hydrogen drag going over here yeah there's not too much hydrogen at all it's like 51 grams or some such that's not too bad at all over here just check out our gas plumbing a uh, little bit of a little bit of co2 coming in with our steam but we're still getting a decent amount of steam. 2,800 grams of steam, actually. So that's quite nice. We've had some water over here that just kind of sat over here for the longest damn time. I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, like, I don't, they, I don't think that they ever grab this water. They only seem to grab the water that's in here. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just leave it here for right now. I mean, it's not really, it's not really doing anything. You know what? This, like, one piece of weird fertilizer sitting here is is annoying me. I know, that's a weird thing to annoy me when I don't really have any other, uh, I don't have any other qualms about how jacked up my base is. But, you know, it, it does happen from time to time. We can turn this off in a little bit here. 
Checking out the oxygen levels. Everyone seems to be living in luxury at the moment. And by luxury, I mean, yes, they have giant pockets of deadly hydrogen sitting right above them. But, you know, other than that, they got working showers. Um, everyone... Oh, look at this. Yeah, no one's grimy right now. No one's grimy. They all... They're all totally fine. So the shower... The jacked up shower system still working good. We've got... This person over here kind of making this. Let us continue. Oh, we're already done over here. Holy crap. We are we are moving right along now that we don't have that I don't have to P9 everything. Let us continue onward, boys. Look at all this hydrogen we're gonna end up igniting. Plus, we're getting a lot more contaminated water pockets. This is kind of nice too. Yes! More slime. Get all that slime. Oh, we have we're getting quite a bit of slime over here. I'm pretty impressed by this. I haven't even used this bio distiller just because I've never had enough slime to make it worth it. It wasn't like really a big deal or anything like that. But now we're starting to get some slime. No joke, man. Is there anything cool over here? A little bit of algae, a little bit of iron ore. We got this morb over here just kind of flipping around. We got another morb over there, I saw. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Contaminated water just kind of around. A little bit of chlorine gas. Remember. Chlorine gas in this game is no big deal. No big deal at all. Neither is like 900 degree weather. These guys, these glorious dupes will will walk in very, very hot weather for you. They, they could care less at any given time. Oh, this little morb over here is getting out. Look, boys, we got a morb. It's like wandering around. The only problem is, is I think that they like overheated. Hmm. This is interesting. I wonder if we could get this morb into our base. This could be a thing. Hold on now. I got. I want to make sure this guy gets it. Oh, hold on now. Hold on now. Before you start. Oh, hold on. I know better than this. Before you start building crap, don't get don't get your ass stuck down there. Come on, morb. Come on in, baby. We got plenty of hydrogen for you over. In fact, hold on. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna open this door. Uh, let's see here. Where's the, um... Let me see if I can... I want to get this door open so that this morb comes on in. I think as long as the... Yeah, there we go. Come on in, morb! Yeah! Come on, baby! Right this way! There's contaminated oxygen over here. We got some hydrogen sitting over in this region. A lot more hydrogen over here than we have, though. Come on, morb! Come on, buddy! You son of a... Get the hell over here, you jerk. You piece of garbage. Come on. Go, go, go. Go this way. Go this way, you scumbag! All right, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get a morb at some point. Maybe just not now. Um, this is a great way to freaking filter all this contaminated oxygen into our base, though. I'll tell you that. Holy Jesus. Let me go ahead and turn this, uh, back on auto. There we have it. That'll be good. Go ahead and reject some duplicates as we do. Goodbye. And look at this. We haven't had to do anything about the stress recently. Oxygen overlay has got a little bit of contaminated oxygen over here. I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. Let's go ahead and disable this building. Over in the area where everyone's uh, using the power. Um, good amount of oxygen over there for the most part. They don't seem to have any kind of issues. Our little guy over here is still running. What's the temperature like on the contaminated water? 44 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's definitely going to take a while. You can see it's it's going to be a little bit to get back to where it used to be. Right now, we're pumping out a lot of CO2 and still a little bit of steam, though. We're still pumping out steam, which is quite nice. So, folks, right now, this is, this is what we got, man. We're starting to... Oh, what the hell is this over here? Oh, the contaminated water. We had a little bit of contaminated water, but it's just spilling down over here. Well, isn't that lucky for us? Um... Let me think about this. I don't know if what sort of weird jacked up. What is this? It's like a living waterfall of contaminated water. This is so strange. I don't know how to feel about this. This is really, really weird. Um, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, in fact, you know what we can do? Let's go ahead and make this pocket a little bit bigger for the uh, contaminated water. I'm gonna go ahead and dig all this out and dig this piece out so our guys can jump up. This is where the contaminated water isn't starting to come into the, uh, isn't starting to come into our base because as we move further and further over to the right, I have a feeling this this is going to begin rising. Uh, 15,500 calories worth of food right now. Of course, it'll probably be going bad any time here. 
So that's a thing as well. Uh, shower still working good, which is excellent. Go ahead and yes, get rid of all that crap. There we go. Now there's much more space here for all this to go. In fact, we can probably dig this layer out as well if we wanted to. Just make a little bit more space for us. No big deal. I'm not going to make it any further down because then we'll have to move our liquid pump. And I like where our liquid pump is right now. So that should be just fine. Let's go ahead and put another order in. Wow, we got a lot of rock and some coal over here as well. Another morb. Where did that one morb go? Is he inside of our base somewhere? I should have kept my eye on him. A lot of stuff that goes on in this game, man. I don't always have, I don't always have time to follow morbs. He could have died as well. Just because a lot of times they are not impressed by the, uh, the temperature inside of the base. Uh, that morb's still around here. I have no idea where he is. I'm sure he's right in front of me. You guys know how it is. This crap happens to me all the time. Let's keep digging over here as we do. Uh, plus, when we do that, they'll be making that floor, which is good. And, okay, good. That's all working. Water's working okay. Inside of the gas overlay, still moving steam, which is excellent. I do enjoy that. What's the temperature like over here? 31 degrees, huh? Huh. It's kind of interesting. Yes. Build. Build until your heart's content. And we've got this weird jackable area. Wow, there's a lot of contaminated water starting to move in over here. That's good, though. So this will kind of keep on refilling thanks to this strange waterfall vacuum area of contaminated water. Oh, Oxygen not included. The random things that you do never cease to amuse me. I'm going to try and keep an eye on this, although I probably won't. We'll end up getting a huge flood of contaminated water into the base. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Oxygen Not Included. We are moving on up. Well, now we're moving on over. Oh, wow. I've reached the end. I've reached the end. All right, hold on. We got to dig to the end here, and then I'll, and then we'll end the episode. All right, we still have got quite a bit of contaminated water coming in over here. We're almost to the we're almost to the very end. It looks like there is just more neutronium. In fact, that's exactly what there is. There's just more neutronium. I mean, I'm going to dig there anyways to say that we did it, but I think that's all that we're going to find. Okay, here we go. We got a morb inside of the base. Now, let's watch this guy for a second. Are you going to end up getting killed or something? Where do you go? Where do you go when you're just kind of hanging around? He's just making a little bit of contaminated oxygen. No, no big deal. Looks like they can go through the airlocks. Yeah, look at him. He can hop through airlocks. That's kind of interesting. Can you, like, go up ladders, I wonder? I've never really, like, checked to see. Um, I don't know. We got, we'll try and keep an eye on this little guy. He's still wandering around. He doesn't seem to have any big deal. He kind of goes in his little pocket over here every once in a while. Then he kind of comes back in. Shoots off a little bit of contaminated oxygen. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> he's, ba he's back off again. All right. Well, I guess we'll let him hang out. No reason not to. All right, folks. We've dug all the way over here to the edge. We got to the neutronium. There's really nothing else. There's a lot of algae pockets over here, though. Still, holy crap. So there is some good stuff if you dig this far. I mean, again, there's there's iron ore. There's a lot of coal and stuff like that. That's pretty sweet. Other than that, though, we are basically set. We've got power. We've got water. We've got plenty of oxygen. We've got freaking morbs running around. And there you go. We got our steam room working on. Pretty good. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Oxygen Not Included. Until next time, folks, stay foxy. Much love.